Good morning, Sarge family. Welcome back to another vlog. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Welcome back, guys. I have a, a really cool thing that I'm going to be doing today, and that is picking up three months of like past ado items that you guys have sent to my P.O. box. Now, I, I, you guys know we were gone in the Dominican for like three months. We were gone all the way um, in the Dominican Republic. I don't know why I just said it like that, but I haven't checked my mailbox or had anybody go and pick up my stuff because nobody has the authority to go pick up my stuff from my P.O. box except moi. So I'm gonna go and uh, go see UPS, get all the stuff that I need to get for you guys, from you guys, because you guys apparently have sent me a lot of packages. I always get emails saying there's a package waiting for you, there's a package waiting for you. Let's go see what these packages are. Good, Give hello. Me slime. Say what now? Get me slime. Get you slime? Yeah, I want slime. Yo, am I your slime plug? Is that what I am? I'm your slime plug? Yeah, girl, yeah, girl, I'm your slime plug. <laughs> well, Ronnie, you never know. Maybe the Sarji family sent you slime. She's been obsessing over slime lately. Do you think they sent you slime? I think they sent you a gift. What kind of gift? What kind of gift? Yeah. I don't know. First of all, you didn't say hello or good morning to the Sarji family. You gotta say hello. But I was slimy. <laughs> she just wants slime. It's been a crazy couple of days since I've been back. Actually, I've been back for like a week and a half now. Um, we are, I think, middle of Ramadan now. The reason why I'm not pumping out daily vlogs is because we're fasting and it sucks when you're fasting and you have to like film stuff. It's just a no bueno. Literally, we wake up like later in the day and just get ready for iftar, which means to break our fast. So like, there's not much going on right now. After Ramadan is done, I have a lot of stuff planned out. I know you guys want me to go back to the abandoned house and my abandoned forest and do some videos there. Um, I'm thinking of doing like some type of paintball challenge while we're out there, it would be really cool. Something we can do in the forest. What kind of stuff would you want to do in the forest? Uh, haunted videos. Haunted videos? Yeah. But I've done that a million times. But I wanna do with you and Bobby. Oh, you wanna go do haunted exploration with me? Yeah, with Lena too. We should do a painting challenge. You wanna do a painting challenge at yeah, the abandoned we'll have, house? Yeah, like, canvases, and both of us have like a specific amount of time to draw the best uh, looking forest view. At the abandoned house? Yeah, we just put mm. random canvases. What? Okay, I mean it's not a bad idea. And then we have like twenty minutes to and see who draws the best like looking scene. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys want us to see. Maybe we hey, should draw the house. Draw the house? Yeah. That'd be a cool I mean, idea. Paint it. We're to sit paint there and it. canvas the house. Yeah, it'll be very like uh <laughs> like relaxing at the same time, like very like soothing and I don't know. Yeah, until the freaking camo man shows up and kills us all. I still got that guy to deal with when I get back to the abandoned property. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's not wake Layla up. Yeah, guys, starting my vlog off uh, a little bit later. It's 4 p.m. right now. I know I said good morning. What are you making us, woman? Look at this girl in her robe, in her gloves, mm -hmm. cooking. People always ask it's why Shadia always. Lisa. Yo, people always ask why Shadia always wearing gloves. Because I don't like to. Because I have nails. Like I don't <laughs> like getting things in between my nails. You know. Yeah. Especially food. Dealing with food. So what are you making yeah. us? It's just a uh, panko chicken. Mmm. Yeah. Got some chicken. Yeah. I smell curry. I also made butter chicken. Whoa, you made butter chicken? <gasps> mm -hmm. Now this is for later because we are fasting. So yeah, we're gonna be eating this white rice, later. Ooh, we got some wet rice, yeah. some chicken. And some soup from yesterday. Dude, you're like a full blown wife now. Like full blown mommy. I'm actually doing this like for tomorrow. <laughs> you were <a> good. <laughs> <laughs> little monkey, little monkey. You know, you know what you did. You know why I'm tickling. You, you know. You can do in the forest is like, like let's see, like who can start a fire the quickest. Start a fire? <laughs> like you know, like a little. Yeah, man, I'll just get a lighter and start a fire. No, 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 like with survival guide thing. Uh, you gotta rub. You, know? you gotta rub it yeah. together. Yeah, I wanna actually try to start a fire and see who can do it <laughs> fastest, and then who can like. You can make like a, like a little shelter quickly. Yeah. Like. <laughs> All right, you're, you're 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 done for. You're you're doing this on purpose now. You're trying to you're trying to disrupt the vlog is what you're doing. Yesterday, Layla, I don't know what happened to her, huh? Well, she was mad. Dude, I don't know what happened around five o'clock in the morning. She stayed up all night. She's punishing us. She didn't go. She didn't go to bed until like maybe five thirty in the morning, and she yeah. barely slept. But like literally she wouldn't sleep. She just wanted to play all night long. And she was just like, 
She was being a naughty girl, which you know, is why she's sleeping right now. Like when kids don't like fall asleep or like they're staying awake is because they're going through like a growth growth sprout. Yeah, she's growing. So she's like, she's obviously going, you know, through growth stages. Mm -hmm. So this is why, like, I think, because there's nothing wrong with her. Like, she's not like in pain or anything. No, she, she just, just wants, wants to play. play. Yeah. yeah. She wants to be held, attention and all that. And we give her a lot of attention. Yeah. But uh, yeah, she was just like different yesterday. L Layla's completely different than Rania. Yeah. Rania was easier. When Rania was younger. The heck out of here. You you know when you were younger, you were the quietest baby ever. You barely cried, you barely made a fuss. But now you're a hellraiser. Now you're a hellraiser. But Layla, she's just a hellraiser through and through. Yeah. I you know what I think Layla, once she gets like Rania's age, she's gonna be calmer than Rania. You think so? We'll see. Nah, I, I think they're gonna be think... they're gonna be fighting nonstop. Yeah. They're gonna be I think they're gonna drive us crazy. They're gonna give us gray hairs. I already have gray hair. <laughs> yeah, we already getting some gray hairs. I gotta go dye this beard. Like literally Kids give you gray hairs, but I do love it. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> Is that your song? Alright, hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. You got cheeseburger all over your face, all right? You gotta go clean that up. Yo, no BS, guys. I'm still trying to get used to driving out here in Canada because driving in the Dominican, you actually have to, like, change your entire mindset when it comes to, like, actually being on the road because you gotta drive like a maniac over there. You can't stop at red lights. You barely can stop at stop signs. You gotta really just, like, overtake cars everywhere you go because the driving situation there is, like, unreal. It really is chaotic. So coming back here, I had to, like... You know, always remind myself every morning that, hey, you're back in Canada now. They drive a bit more, <laughs> a bit more, less crazy out here. You still got some crazy drivers out here, but not like out in the DR. Like here, people are kind of more uniform. They stop at traffic lights, which is kind of good and bad. I kind of miss like not having to stop at red lights and stuff. Um, in the DR, you would just have to like creep into the red light, look around, make sure nobody's coming, and then you just go. Like I've had instances where um, I've had cops behind me in the DR and I'm like should I stop at the red light like are they gonna get me? So I would stop and then the cops would actually honk at me and tell me to go So over there they use red lights as if it was like a, a stop sign or a yield sign or you know something like that So yeah, now I got to remind myself to friggin stop at the friggin red lights Every time I friggin get to one all in all it's a beautiful day man Honestly look at this weather we have sunshine. It's 10 degrees Celsius I'll take it right now. Definitely no snow. I'm not complaining. I can't wait to hit the forest, to hit the trails, go hiking, film some forest content, some camping content. I got a lot of stuff coming your way soon. Um, I'm very excited about that, most of all. We just got to the UPS store, gonna go pick up some packages. I can't wait to see what you guys sent over. I'm very excited to unbox stuff. So I was able to pick up some letters, a lot of letters. For some reason, they wouldn't give me my packages. I don't know why. Um, I had to. I have to come back next week and talk to the manager because the manager is a friend of mine and there's all these new guys that don't know me and apparently there are packages here for me but they can't find them or where they put them which I was like bro don't tell me you lost my fans fan mail fam that'd be really bad but I'm sure I'll get cl cleared up next week once I come in um, come back I'm gonna talk to the manager which he's a friend of mine and he'll probably know where everything is because I remember I specifically told him do not return anything that comes in for me. I might not be in for months at a time. Never return stuff. That's why I switched over to UPS from Canada Post. Because as you guys remember in the past, Canada Post would always return your items. Anytime you guys would pay to send something, they would return it. And it was a real hassle. So I left Canada Post because they absolutely suck. And I came to UPS because they don't return items. They actually hold it forever. As long as you know, you're still paying for your box and everything. Which I pay a yearly fee for that box. Just so you guys can send stuff. If you guys want to send stuff, if you don't know about my P.O. Box, the link, or not even a link, the address for it is going to be in the description of every video on this channel, the vlog channel, and on the main channel. So there's no reason to why you can't find it. It's going to be in the description of every video. I'm probably still going to get someone commenting, hey Mo, where's your P.O. Box address? But anyways, I got some letters. I was only able to get the letters for some reason. I have a bunch of boxes. Um, they don't know where they are. Hopefully they find them. They better find them. <laughs> Jumping into the day. Guys, we got so much cleaning to do in this backyard. Look at this. Ronnie, get over here. Yeah. Guys, look at this backyard. Look at all this. This is so satisfying. Oh. Satisfying. Go 
rocks. You're collecting rocks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Rodney, you might want to get out of the way. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's crazy. All right, so I had to pull out a broom because the, the blower just did not have enough power to move all this. There's so much of it. Jesus. Look, look what, what I'm, I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm just making a fire. You're making a fire. Yeah. It's <laughs> so fire. random. I love it. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to be moving all this stuff into the pit there and then cleaning it out later. But I think no, it's probably the best no, thing to do is just to sweep it all into, like, the pit back there. Hey, yeah, guys, the family and I decided to go out for a walk out to the pond. Well, well, well. If it isn't my old friends at the pond. <laughs> Hello? Hello, old friends. It's been a while. Go touch them. You go touch them. No. See, see what, <laughs> look, they're already, oh, they're, hissing. they're already pissed. Hello, old friends. <laughs> Don't run away. Come here. Come here, Canadian chickens. No, no, run your back Come here. They attack. I, I promise you they attack. <laughs> <laughs> they're not afraid. They definitely will attack. Hey, chickens, come here. Like, if you just walk a little closer, they're gonna go. I wanna see, I wanna see attack Shadia. Oh. No, 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 you saw that? Come here, come here, Ducky. Wow. But, by the way, you know how we feed them bread? Apparently it's really bad for ducks. Is like it? Birds. Like, they don't I don't care, I don't bread. care. These these, <laughs> these ducks can like fall out of the sky for all I care. They're, they're evil. Nah, I'm just joking. But I don't know, I, I hear you can feed them and you can't feed them. Is that a bird standing on that? Yeah, literally standing right on that thing. It's crazy because that bird actually has some weight to it. Yeah. But it's standing on the hot dogs. The hot dogs? Yeah, those are the hot dogs. Yeah, but they're not that strong, are they? What? The hot dogs? Hot dogs yeah. I mean, depends. The birds are really light. But these Becky. assholes over here, where are they? Oh, oh yeah. I saw, a video of oh, I saw a video about people eating those hot dogs in their mouth. Yeah, you shouldn't mouth. You shouldn't do that. That's how you die. Did they die from it? Because they, like, expand in your mouth and you can choke on it. <laughs> I wish we, like, got a house right here. Right here? On the water. I, I mean, it's cool. So cool. It's cool because there's the... The back, the, the forest in the background. But the problem is, like, you won't have any privacy because there's, it's a trail, like a, a walkway. I don't really care. People though, come and go. I actually like to see people go and come. Really? And not even that. Like, I wouldn't be able to tear my booty out in the in the backyard. You know what would be cool too? Because the the basement is like. Ah! Yeah, it's above ah! above four ah! basements. Yeah. yeah. So I like that. I like it too, but I really like these houses were a little too expensive because they mm -hmm. they had to pay fifty thousand dollar premium That's just to have this man made pond. It's crazy. I'd rather save that 50000 and not do that. Yeah. But I'd rather get like a new house in the future ah! where we have at least like, like 10, 15 build? acres of land on it. Yeah, custom build. Yeah. Workout time! <laughs> Psychotic behavior. Leyland's workout time. Hello, precious. Hello, beautiful girl. It is workout time in the gym. The Sarge family I'm gym. Free. Finally, I can't wait to work out. I am so excited to get to my workouts. I've been working out off camera. You need to stop. Let me see that jump again. Who jumps in a tiny ball pit like that? Go for it. <laughs> yeah, you, you know you're gonna clean up all those balls right after. You guys haven't seen Layla yet today. Hey, Layla. Hello. Hello. I have to trap Layla in this little prison because Layla, Layla's a prisoner. She's an inmate, right? <laughs> hey, Rania, can, can I? Hi, 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 precious. All right, gonna do some chest workouts because I definitely been lacking on those um, when I was in the DR. I have my little weights. I did my little workouts, but I was mostly doing just cardio stuff over there. <laughs> if you're a parent and you want to work out, you just get your kids one of these like little prisons, honestly. <laughs> Those girls just sitting here. What are you eating? Do you always have to put everything in your mouth? Yeah? Layla. <laughs> you used to be so tiny. Hey! You got balls all over my gym. Go pick up your balls right now. I just realized that I made a really big mistake in yesterday's vlog. So in yesterday's vlog, I promoted my um, dog tags, like military style dog tags to you guys. Told you guys, you can go to my link, mosargy.shop where my, my merch is, and you guys can buy the dog tags there. 
And I will be signing a couple of them to random people and giving them away. So here's the thing. I totally did not realize I'm an idiot, guys. I'm an idiot. This is how, how brain dead I am sometimes and how busy I am with kids and family and so much other shit that I don't even pay attention. So those dog tags that I, that I have that I showed you guys, they're actually not on my merch store. And I didn't realize that. And so what happened was, is like four or five months ago when I was doing merch with Teespring and on my own stuff, um, I made those dog tags as a test run to see if you guys would like them. So I remembered ordering them from Teespring, but they never sent them. And then I come back home from the Dominican months months later, and they're waiting for me at home. I'm like, oh, okay. I have this stuff here. I guess my merch people sent that to me. So let me go ahead and promote it. Turns out, I don't actually have this item on my actual merch store. So, that being said, I'm not actually selling those dog tags right now. But if you guys do want them, um, I'm gonna give these two away to random people because I'm not making dog tags at the moment. Not literally not until I figure out how I'm gonna get them on my website. So if you guys want these dog tags, there's only two of them. I am gonna be giving them randomly to whomever purchases merch over $100. You gotta send me a screenshot of that and I'm gonna be giving it to random people. So two people are gonna get two dog tags that are signed. You must have bought merch worth over $100. Uh, the merch is pretty cheap on the website, so you, you can get yourself a couple of things. And uh, yeah, I'm really sorry guys, I really thought that they were on my site. I'm such an idiot, I can't believe I made that mistake. Literally, I was going through the comments today, and it's like, hey Mo, we don't see the dog tags. There's like a hundred of you guys commenting the same thing, we don't see the dog tags. And I'm like, wait a sec. Message my merch guy, I'm like, yo, how come the dog tags aren't on the website? He's like, what dog tags? We didn't make any dog tags. I'm like, ooh, okay. Um, we should get that made then because I made a big mistake. I still released a vlog regardless um, And I know you guys are still gonna love the live a little merch regardless for those that don't know my brand is called LAL live a little it means To live your life, baby To live a little go to the merch store right now mosargy.shop get yourself some of that merch to get yourself um, A free dog tag there's only two available. They will be signed and two lucky people will be getting them. God dang it, guys. I think Tom, my boy, is back. The reason I say this is because yesterday, just chilling at home, minding my own business, was about to jump into the shower, and then out of nowhere, the lights start going crazy in that exact same bathroom where I've had, like, paranormal shit happen in the past. Bro, not this shit again. <laughs> just to show you guys, literally... This light's going crazy on its own. Oh, that one now too. What the hell? Oh. What the hell? That light's flickering in that one too? Hey, yo, Tom, my boy. Yo, Tom, my boy. Talk to me, Tom, my boy. Ooh, what the hell, bro? Are you kidding me? <gasps> okay, yeah, this is freaking creepy, guys. What the hell? I just came to shower. I turn on the shower and the lights start. Look at this, it's going crazy. Yo, Tom, can you make the lights flicker some more? Okay. Tom, my boy is back, I guess. That one's flickering now, too. Wait, let me get close to this thing. Hey, yo, Tom, my boy. That's so wild. All right, I'm, I'm back out of the bathroom, Tom. Back out of the bathroom. Try not to show you guys the floor because it's kind of dirty right now. I got laundry everywhere, underwear everywhere. I literally came to shower and the lights are just going bonkers. Wait, let me turn the lights off and on and see what happens. Wait, what? I am so confused. Wait, I turn the lights off. They're still on? What? Holy shit, look at my hair. <laughs> All right, yo, what the hell? This is the weirdest thing I have ever captured on camera. Usually when lights go off, they go off. But no, not these lights. There's still like power in them. That is so weird. I really do think Tom, my boy, is back. He's active. 
and we should do an investigation about it. Let me know in the comments below. Actually, smash that like button. Should I do a full-blown investigation in my house? Once again, maybe bring the guys over and see if we can capture Tom on camera. Cause like that happening in my freaking washroom is absolutely insane. Like today, the lights were perfectly fine. I actually haven't changed them. They're working perfectly as they should. It makes no sense. I really do believe Tom, my boy, is back. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it wasn't much, but it is what it is. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Smash that like button. Once again, really sorry about the whole, the whole merch situation. I will be sure to fix that, and I will be sure to try to make dog tags, military-style dog tags, for you guys that you guys can order them off the merch store, mosrg.shop. Get yourself that merch right now.